Tanse, hello. My name is Paul Cizaquesis. I am the curator of Enclosing Some Snapshots, the photography of Métis activist James Brady. I'm very excited to bring this uh, exhibition to the Galt in Lethbridge. Uh, it initially was shown at the Glenbow in Calgary, and it's the first ever photographic exhibition, physical photographic exhibition of James Brady's photographs. For those who may not know, James Brady was a seminal figure on the, in the West. Uh, he was a Métis activist, uh, political agitator. He also worked for the different provincial governments at various times, Ministry of Natural Resources, that sort of thing. And he is known for his activism. He was also a founding member of the Métis National Association of Alberta in Saskatchewan, along with uh, Malcolm uh, Norse and uh, uh, Joe Didion. So he was a seminal political figure as well. I think it's important to say that these photographs are snapshots. Uh, whether James Brady ever meant for them to be professionally exhibited, we don't know. Uh, but through the course of his lifetime, from his birth in 1908 to his disappearance in northern Saskatchewan in 1967, James Brady led a very interesting life on many facets. He was not just uh, an activist, he was a prospector, he was a surveyor, he was a cartographer, he was a historian, he was a writer, uh, and he was a soldier during World War II. He served overseas in uh, what was in Holland, and he was also a photographer, as we're about to see in, these, in this ex exhibition. Uh, this exhibition runs over four decades. It starts in the 1930s, goes through the 1940s, through the 1950s to up to the early 1960s, uh, up to Brady's disappearance, pretty much. And it covers uh, a vast swath of uh, central and northern Alberta and central and northern Saskatchewan. And what is unique about this is this is not an outsider's uh, view of Métis and uh, primarily Cree communities in Alberta and Saskatchewan. It's very much an insider's view. It's uh, the view of someone who was known in the community someone who was friends with people in the community, someone who was always, whose name went ahead of where he arrived. People knew about James Brady before they ever met him. And so when he was taking his camera with him, it was an aspect of him that I think has been understated in people's writing of James Brady's life. He was much more than a, than a, than a political activist. He was a photographer. Uh, he was a photographer who was taking photos that captured its own, their own narrative. They reflected what was going on in the communities, they reflected people living in the communities, and they were a record, I guess, that you could say was of Brady's own making. It was not that he was shooting the photographs to fulfill any newspaper contract or what people were wanting him to film, he was doing it for his own records. The title, Enclosing Some Snapshots, I think is very apropos. Uh, for this exhibition. It is an exhibition of both black and white and color photographs, various sizes, various communities. And I think what stands out for, I hope, when what you get from this exhibition is a sense of James Brady's commitment to community, to his love of community, his love of the people in the communities, his desire to record them, not just with his pen, but also with his camera. And in this way, the snapshots take on an added importance, and I think they leave a lasting legacy. And enclosing some snapshots at the Galt here in Lethbridge, for me, is a, a very rewarding experience, having been able to curate this, along with Joanne Schmidt at the Glenbow in uh, Calgary, to be able to access these photographs, to select them, to pull them together, and to work to have them presented to the public is a tremendous honor, and I'm very grateful that, for that. So I, with that, I hope you really enjoy this exhibition, you find the time to visit it, and I hope it opens your eyes to a lot of James Brady's life and also the communities he was so much in love with and so much active with. So enjoy the exhibition. Thank you.